Hi, I'm Dr. Tammy Sorensen. Welcome to my exciting new holistic health podcast, Living with Ease. Living with Ease is designed to encourage and equip listeners with tools for living and releasing ease into the midst of all the dis-ease that continually bombards our atmospheres, lives, circumstances, and the culture we find ourselves navigating. Each week on Monday mornings and Thursday afternoons, I will share a new episode of Living with Ease that includes a new holistic frequency-infused instrumental piece specific to releasing ease into the dis-ease. My website, soundexpressions.net, contains all of the credentials and life experiences that have culminated, converged, and propelled me into living with ease. My music is available via digital distribution and streaming, as well as at TammySorensen.com backslash music. Today's episode continues the theme of ease affirmations. There were so many Holy Spirit-led affirmations that came to me after completing my last episode. I felt led to create an additional podcast episode specific to these much-needed affirmations. I am a good idea. I am my Heavenly Father's good idea. I am infinitely loved. I am valued, wanted, and treasured. The Lord and giver of all good gifts created me to live on earth for this time and this place in his story, to be a gift to the world around me, because every good and perfect gift is from my Father in heaven. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I have been created with gifts inside me. I am a container filled with purpose. The gifts and treasures Father God put inside of me are for sharing His love with others. I carry gifts inside me the world needs. Using and sharing my unique gifts blesses my Heavenly Father and blesses others. Using and sharing my gifts is a way of showing my love in Christ to Father God and His love to others. Father God loves me and sees me as precious. There is nothing I have to do to earn His love. He accepts me fully and completely in the love and finished work of His Son, Jesus. My unique gifts, empowered by the treasure of Jesus in me, flow out to others through Holy Spirit wherever I go. The gift of Jesus living in me through Holy Spirit is the most powerful treasure in the whole world. In Christ, through the power of Holy Spirit, I am a vessel of the atmosphere of heaven, the energy, meaning the word, and the sound of heaven expressed on earth. The following is an excerpt from my book, I Am a Good Idea. I used the message translation when writing these affirmations. Before you shaped me in my mother's womb, you knew all about me. Before I was born, you had holy plans for me. Oh yes, you created me first inside, then out. You formed me in my mother's womb. I thank you because I am breathtaking. Body and soul, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I worship you and praise you in adoration because I have been marvelously made. You know everything about me. You know every bone in my body and every hair on my head. You know exactly how I was made, bit by bit, how I was sculpted from nothing into something. Like an open book, you watched me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you. The days of my life were all prepared before I'd even lived one day. Your thoughts are precious and beautiful to me, for the sum of them cannot be measured. I couldn't even begin to count them any more than I can count the sand of the sea. I rise in the morning and want to live with you always. Those verses were taken from Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, and Psalm 139, verses 13 and 14. 
You know what you're doing. You have it all planned out. Plans to take care of me. Plans to not abandon me. Plans to give me the future I hope for. When I call on you, when I come and pray to you, you listen. When I come looking for you, I'll find you. Yes, when I get serious about finding you and want it more than anything else, I will find you. And you'll make sure I won't be disappointed when I seek you with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my soul, and with all my strength. You are the Lord my God, and you are with me. You are mighty to save. You take great delight in me. You quiet me with your love, and you rejoice over me with singing. Those verses were taken from Jeremiah 29, verse 11, Mark 12, verse 30, and Zephaniah 3, verse 17. You love me so much that you gave your only son, Jesus Christ, so that believing in him, I have eternal life. For you chose me in Christ Jesus long before you laid down the earth's foundations. You had me in mind, had settled on me as the focus on your love, to be made whole and holy by your love. Long, long ago, you adopted me into your family through Jesus Christ. You took great pleasure in planning this. You wanted me to enter into the celebration of your overflowing gift, your overflowing gift giving by the hand of your beloved son, Jesus. Because of his sacrifice, his blood poured out on the altar of the cross, I am free, free of penalties and punishments, chalked up by all my misdeeds and mistakes. Not just barely free either, abundantly free. You thought of everything, provided for everything I could possibly need letting me in on the plans you took such delight in making. You set it all out before me in Christ, a long-range plan in which everything would be brought together and summed up in Him. Everything in deepest heaven, everything on planet Earth. It's in Christ that I find out who I am and what I am living for. Long before I heard of Christ and got my hopes up, you had your eye on me had designs on me for glorious living, part of the overall purpose you are working out in everything and everyone. I was included in Christ when I heard the word of truth, the gospel of my salvation. Having believed, I was marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. Those verses come from John 3, 16 and Ephesians chapter 1, verses 4 through 13. You live in me and move in me. You don't play hide and seek with me. You're not far away. You're near. You are my God and I am your child. I leave the corruption and the compromise. I leave it for good. I won't link up with those who will pollute me. You want me all for yourself. You are my father. I am your son or I am your daughter. Your spirit touches my spirit and confirms who I really am. I know who you are and you know who I am, father and child. It is clear to me that you love me very much and have put your hand on me, chosen me for something special. I am chosen by you, chosen for the high calling of kingdom work, chosen to be holy, your instrument to do your work and speak out for you telling others of the night and day difference you made for me, from nothing to something, from rejected to accepted. Since I am receiving a kingdom that cannot be destroyed, I am thankful and desire to please you by worshiping you with holy fear and awe. Those verses come from Acts chapter 17, verse 28, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18, Romans 8, verses 14 and 16, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 4, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, and Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28. Babies and kids of all ages, you have perfected praise. Nursing infants gurgle choruses about you. Toddlers shout the songs that drown out enemy talk and silence non-believing babble. 
For the time has come when the true worshipers will worship you in spirit and in truth. It's who I am and the way I live that counts before you. My worship engages my spirit in pursuing, following, or chasing after truth. You are truth. That's the kind of person you are looking for. Simply and honestly myself before you in my worship. You are spirit. I worship you out of my very being, my spirit, my whole self, and in adoration. Those come from Psalm chapter 8, verse 2, and John 4, 23 and 24. Your Holy Spirit will lead me into all truth. Because of you, he lives in me. I will obey your commandments because I love you. Father God loves me. Jesus, you love me and will reveal yourself to me because I love you. You will never abandon me as an orphan. There are no orphans in heaven, and through you there are no orphans on earth. You have always loved me, and you always will. John chapter 14, verses 15 through 18. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, my Savior and Redeemer. Thank you, Holy Spirit, my Comforter, and my teacher. Once again, I give you praise, glory, and honor that in Christ, through the power of Holy Spirit, I am a vessel of the atmosphere of heaven, the energy, meaning the word, and the sound of heaven expressed on earth. <laughs>